Jonathan joining us right now on what's at stake and how much the debates will matter. Joining us right now is Jonathan Martin. Uh, he is the Politics Bureau Chief and Senior Political Columnist at Politico. How much does this matter and how do you handicap the situation, Jonathan? Hey, Andrew. Well, I think the fact that they're happening at all is significant. Uh, it, it's a reveal. Look, I, look, Joe Biden's advisors were not thrilled about the idea of doing any debates, of giving Donald Trump a platform. And I think that calculation changed for a couple of reasons. Number one, obviously Biden uh, is struggling in polling. But even more to the point, Andrew, this, this trial is not breaking through into the popular culture. Look, when Christy Noem's dog is getting more attention in the zeitgeist than this trial, they knew they had a challenge. The Biden folks have got to get Trump back in the camera frame, get him back in the conversation. Conversation, and this is the way to do it. And that's why they're doing this debate in June, because the White House knows they've got to change the nature of this campaign sooner rather than later and make Trump once again central. OK, but there, there's sort of two two views of how this could go. One is that depending on how the conversation emerges during the debate, and I imagine this is the perspective of the Biden uh, camp right now, yeah. that somehow they're going to make him look like the adult in the room relative sure. to Trump. There's right. others who say that, you know, you put both of them together and that Trump is going to eat his lunch and that he's going to look more spry and with it uh, potentially yeah. than the current president. How, well, that's how why, do you weigh those yeah. two issues? Well, that's why Trump accepted in a moment's notice the, uh, the other morning, because Trump just wants to get Biden on stage in front of the camera, regardless of the rules or circumstances and agreement. And, and so I think the Trump calculation is that Biden is just not going to be able to go for, for that long of a period uh, on live TV and not show some signs of his age of slippage. That's the Trump calculation. I think the Biden assessment is, no, like we're going to rebut those questions. We're going to show that Joe's still has his fastball, and the perception of him as being over the hill is, is sort of over raw. And once the American voter sees that again in real time, they'll give us a second look, and that, too, can shake up where this race is right now. Wow, that puts a lot of pressure uh, on him. It, I guess that begs a question. I, I, but it doesn't matter what you think, Jonathan, they have or no what choice. I think. I, yeah. I, I don't think he has his fifth. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't know how, I don't know what you'd have to you know, put in a, I don't know what would work. I don't, I, you know, well, a case the Biden of red, folks a case point of red out that, that, that at every big moment he has stepped up, and obviously they point to his speech before Congress in March as an example of where he rebutted the doubters. And I think, look, it, it's a matter of the Biden folks recognizing something has to change in this campaign. They're trailing. They got to reassure the American voter that, that Biden still has it. And more right. to the point, but also, Jonathan, if, if, get if you're Trump stuck back with in the him, if you're stuck yeah. with him as a Democrat, you're you got to say all that stuff. You may be with him every day and you may see, see things that you're just like, whoa, I hope no one ever sees this. But you're stuck with him. So you have to, you know, put on your happiest face. I'm, I'm, I'm not buying it. The other thing I was going uh, going to ask you about, oh, yeah, what's more front and center than being a, in front of a, a uh, or on trial for a felony conviction for Trump? You say he's not front and center. Unless you're buying into the notion it's actually helped him political, which I think it probably has when you look at those polls. But he's more, I mean, having him on a debate stage for two hours, he's been front and center every day. I don't know what, I don't, yeah, I, I maybe, maybe, maybe you're watching I CNN. Disagree. Well, I you're disagree watching CNN, more. they're doing January 6th. Everybody I, I else is doing the no. trial. Everybody no, else is doing the trial. Nobody's talking about the trial. You I, don't I, watch I Fox. Have I you ever turned on Fox? Of course. Nobody all gives day long, two, that's all it is. About, did yeah. you see Anderson Cooper yesterday talking about how they nailed Michael Cohen on on, uh, okay. on you saw that right? Two points. Number one, it's not televised. This ain't OJ. That's a huge deal as to why it's not breaking through. And secondly, a lot of this is not new facts. And people after nine years almost of Trump being a political figure are desensitized to his conduct. That's why the Biden folks are doing a June debate, because this trial is not getting through uh, like I think a lot of people thought in American politics it was going to. Forget the, the cable networks, Fox or CNN. Talk Talk to any darn average voter in America. They're not following this. It's not a central conversation. It's not OJ. And that's why we're sitting here in May talking about a June debate for the first time so, in American history.